As an old Chinese poetic line goes, in the hazy hues of spring, he journeyed south to Yangzhou. This city with a worldwide reputation for its canals is now revealed to me through the morning mist. We meet Chen's parents by the ancient canal. Each of them operates a special business in Yangzhou. Chen's father has a Huayang cuisine restaurant, bringing taste and elegance to home dishes. A mother runs a century-old perfume powder shop, filling the streets with classic fragrance and beauty. The canal not only nurtures the economy and the culture of Yangzhou, but also nourishes the daily life of her citizens. A typical day in Yangzhou begins at a morning tea house by the canal. A variety of fine pastries are the main courses of morning tea, with numerous amazing patterns in the shapes of fillings and doughs. These stuffed buns may seem unremarkable, but hold wonders inside. After breakfast, we drink tea and chat by the canal. I'm curious about the unique flavour of the businesses of Chen's parents, about the exquisite taste that goes into everything, even the morning tea. Her father advised me to find out the answer along the canal. Along the canal, we begin to experience the rich daily life of Yangzhou people, in streets filled with cheerful chatting and laughing. First, we come to the Temple of Great Brightness. In the sound of ringing bells, we pray for the happiness of our families. We ride a gaily painted pleasure boat across the slender West Lake, which forms part of the canal's water systems, and follows the currents to the beautiful Gaiyuan Garden. Here the canal flows into what used to be private homes, symbolizing the wealth and elegance of their owners. come to an old street called Dong Guanji and come across a typical Yangzhou dish, a salted goose, which is marinated with a special salt and infused in boiling water. Since ancient times, the canal has fostered a thriving salt industry in Yangzhou, inspiring the wisdom of food preserving. In the same street, we also experience woodblock painting, the Gu Quin and paper cutting. Such folk arts from different parts of China are also gathered here through the canal. My favourite experience is Ni Zhao, a Yangzhou style foot massage that gets rid of my exhaustion from a whole day of exploration along the canal. The development of the canal has driven Yang Zhou's people's pursuit of a more refined life, a life philosophy that has found its way into the elegance of local food. As darkness falls, the life by the canal comes to its most glamorous time. Starting with gongs and drums, storytellers entertain people with tales told in the local dialect. They are depicting the feast culture that the city is proud of. Huayang cuisine. They really know how to reshape food ingredients with knife skills, carving delicate tofu into blooming flour, or mincing meat into pellets that blend the fatty and the lean, and creating an ultimate flavor with a precise manipulation of heat. In Huayang cuisine, the reshaping of food ingredients into a fine art is just like the blending of elements into the local culture by the Grand Canal. Amazingly, all these delicate dishes originate from the wisdom of common families and are deeply rooted in the daily life of myriad households. What Chen anticipates most, however, is her father's Yangzhou fried rice. With 
With leftover rice from the night before and ordinary ingredients quick fried together, plus simplest seasoning, a colourful and delicious meal is ready to be served. Fried rice looks ordinary, but it is a home dish reserved for his homesick daughter and a popular dish fit for any banquet. This family dinner makes me feel at home. I finally understand the special flavour of the businesses of Chen's parents. It symbolises love for their own family and respect for the tradition of thousands of others. The intricate dishes symbolise many years of nostalgia, expressed in the warm taste of reunion, in the myriad lights from every home in Yangzhou. Chen's family blend homely flavour into innovation of Huayang cuisine, Canal City, which has been made more wonderful by all its common families, takes the spirit of the canal to every part of China. 